Paul here got it right one in three times, and I'm like 80% sure that we're just fucking no good here. Ken, I don't really know him. Actually, you know what? I mean, I'm gonna call him. Yeah, fuck you. Thank you. <laughs> um, so, what changed my mind right away is that I saw this mad aggression. And uh, then I had a luck, and sure enough, this guy's just crazy aggressive. So that's definitely a flag that he's um, betting out with a lot here. So I got kings on two tables, and I got a caller. So let's see how much value we can get here. Maybe he's got a nine, and he's just going to call us down with it. Yeah, we didn't get any call on our kings up here. Unfortunately. Here with 5-4, uh, hmm, so this is interesting. If I raise, it's gonna look weak now, but I think if I limp in three times in a row, he's gonna, if I, uh, he's probably gonna three bet me here. Oh, okay, he folds, nice, thank you. Uh, this guy's pretty good, but he's really aggressive in position too, and I'm weary of that, like, I almost am gonna treat this like a button raise. And, so I know this guy can get really tricky in the cutoff too. Yeah. This is why we can do that. Against an unknown player, I would probably just call there, but because I know this guy and I know he plays well, he understands position, and his range is a lot wider in the cutoff than say, you know, middle position, early position. That I think you can three bet him a lot from the blinds when he's raising the cutoff. Um, now, here's a kind of a different situation. I'm gonna just call because I'm in position to him. But I'll recognize that he could have a, a strong hand here because, again, he understands position. And uh, for him to raise under the gun, he's going to have a strong range, but here we obviously hit bottom two, and it could be very good for us if he has something like ace-king or ace-king. there because if he had ace king or ace queen he might think you're raising him with a flush and even if not he's gonna have such a hard time putting down top air top kicker um, you know especially you raise you raise um, under the gun with ace king and then flop an ace like that's exactly what you were looking for with that hand so it's kind of hard to get away from it Here, we'll call. I hope to get another caller. Even if I don't, it's fine. Because we're both deep stacked. Right? Um, so, I guess this guy's not very aggressive. Oh, actually, I'm flop. I guess it's aggressive. Uh, I'm actually going to float one here and then fire out on the turn. Because he seems to fold on the turn. So, we'll go for it again. Here this guy just leads out. Kind of expecting him to, but he probably triple bet us that. Wow, nice raise. Still working. Nice 
should have been four dollars. So, oops, mistake. Yeah, we can definitely call it for this guy. And this is a pretty safe board, I think. We'll get out on. guy who calls pretty much anything so I mean he could be on the flush draw here um, but I don't know for sure because he's calling down the four too so I don't want to try to get value out of the flush draw here because I could definitely not and this guy is not the folding type from what I can see so um oh you son of a bitch so pretty much got a fold here but uh, man this enough read to call him there. <sighs> that really felt like a busted flush draw. And um, for five handed here, I think I'll three bet this because we'll be in position to this guy. And uh, he's got a wide opening range, so I'm sure we could be good here. This guy three bets me a lot when I uh, so. play a little bit different poker with this guy because he floats a lot and he check raises all sorts and you know just a good player and uh, you got to play a lot more deceptive against players like that. Whereas like this guy, so he doesn't fold a lot, but this is a good flop for us to bet out at because. He's so unlikely to have connected, but of course he probably has like five seven and called on the flop there. So we'll see. Let's see what he has. And again, this guy's fucking so full of shit. Like if I had ace high, I think I would definitely call him here. Like definitely, but he could have something like ace two or ace five, you know, like and just totally bluff there. We don't have a call in hand. And he bet almost half his stack. So I think he might even call off a base high, to be honest. Like these kinds of players, just totally noobs. Um, okay, here's the thing. Let's see. So I think this guy will call. And if he does, then I think it's correct to play this. So we miss, but. If we had hit something, like, we were going to hit a big hidden hand with 2-4 suited, but let's see, okay, so he bets 12. Mm, we're not going to make a play here against the unknown. Good thing we did not. just doesn't seem to learn either. Like he continuously tries to limp it. So. Um, I'll just I think I'll just try to get value. I think he could be drawing, he could have a nine. He could have also had a seven. You son of a bitch. <laughs> Uh, da, 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 da. These guys, this guy doesn't really fold 